So we got this little guy on Amazon and I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work. Originally had it outside in the winter and the winter was a little bit cooler than typical and so it had a hard time maintaining the temperature but uh, for the most part I've been quite satisfied with this purchase. Uh, looking at a hard sided tub of about $4,000 for the same size. This was $600. I'll post the link below. So it's the Coleman uh, Salyu Spa or Soyu Spa, however you want to say it. And you'll see mixed reviews online, but so far we've been quite happy with this. My uh, son is a uh, slope style skier and is often sore at the end of the day and sits in this pretty much once or twice a day, every day of the week. This is the little egg that goes on with it and heats it. You can see we're at 57 degrees and I'll explain why this is so cold right now, but you can see the unit is heating. You can probably hear it relatively quiet. But what happened was we had a massive windstorm and it blew off the cover because I never latch it because I'm lazy. But anyways, filled quite a bit of dirt in the water and some leaves and debris. But I'd also just put in quite a bit of Epsom salt the preceding day. So I'm not sure which issue was primarily at fault, but it ended up clogging up the flow. There's a little flow meter inside that egg. And if the water's not flowing at a certain velocity, it'll create an EO2 or error 2 message that shuts off the uh, the motor and you can't heat it you can't do anything with it so after dinking around for the better part of the morning filling it draining it washing the filters replacing the filters I basically took this guy off and flipped it over after I drained it filled it with vinegar which is what we use sometimes with the exercise clothes and towels to sort of de-stink them if you will let it sit in the sun for about two hours and then I came back and hooked up a garden hose to the intake there and flushed it one way then I flushed it the other way and then I also uh, used the hose and flushed you know inward uh, this way to blow out any residual debris. I didn't really see anything come out. It could have been just a little chunk of uh, Epsom salt or a little leaf or something that was too small to really pay attention due to the velocity of the water. But anyways, it saved me a call to the uh, company which I've not heard is a very uh, enjoyable prospect and it also saved me the hassle of trying to go through warranty or return this we've had this for coming on nine months now and i hope that we can keep this guy up and running and there you can see the little culprit back there a little bag of epsom salt as well so hope you found that helpful uh, links below the video of course have a great one